Let us gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus, the love of his Father, the power and wisdom of the Spirit be with all of you. And with your Your spirit. spirit. As we gather together on this Sunday morning, let's take a moment acknowledging the times we have failed to trust in God's mercy, asking our Lord's pardon and peace. You came to gather all people into the peace of your Father's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, have have mercy. mercy. You come to us today in your word and in your sacrament. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ, have have mercy. mercy. And you have promised to come again with salvation for all. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, have have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. highest. And on earth, earth, peace to to people people of goodwill. goodwill. We We praise praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give give you you thanks thanks for your great glory. glory. Lord God, God, Heavenly Heavenly King, King, O God, God, Almighty Father, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, only begotten begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service. Grant that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. This we pray through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people saying, fear the Lord your God and keep throughout the days of your lives, <coughs> excuse me, all the statutes and commandments which I enjoin on you and thus have a long life. Hear then Israel and be careful to observe them that you may grow and prosper the more in keeping with the promise of the Lord, (coughs) the God of your fathers, to give you a land flowing with milk and honey. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. Therefore, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Take to heart these words, which I enjoin on you today. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. I love you, Lord, my strength. I I love love you, Lord, Lord, my my strength. strength. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. I love Love you, you, Lord, Lord, my my strength. strength. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim and I am safe from my enemies. I love Love you, you, Lord, Lord, my strength. The Lord lives, and blessed be my rock. Extolled be God, my Savior, you who gave great victories to your king and showed kindness to your anointed. I love Love you, you, Lord, Lord, my my strength. strength. reading from the letter to the Hebrews. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, the Levitical priests were many because they were prevented by death from remaining in office. But Jesus, because he remains forever, has a priesthood that does not pass away. Therefore, he is always able to save those who approach God through him, since he lives forever to make intercessions <clears throat> for them. It was fitting that we should have such a high priest, holy, innocent, undefiled, 
separated from sinners, higher than the heavens. He has no need, as did the high priest, to offer sacrifices day after day, first for his own sins and then for those of the people. He did that once for all when he offered himself. For the law appoints men subject to weakness to be high priests, but the word of the oath, which was taken after the law, appoints a son who has been made perfect forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. May the Lord be with you. And with your Your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Lord. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, which is the first of all the commandments? And Jesus replied, the first is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, well said teacher, you are right in saying he is one, there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all the burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said, you are not far from the kingdom of God and no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. The van pulled into the parking lot. The doors opened. And a group of teenagers poured out. They looked like a a band of refugees. They were dirty, smelly. Their clothes were a disaster. It was the most awful looking collection of kids that you ever seen. And they were ours. I thought to myself, I wonder what their classmates would think and their parents much less. If they could see these, these teenagers today, these who had just maybe a couple of weeks before had prom pictures taken, all dressed up. For they had just returned from the job site of building a home down in Mexico. And for the last nine hours, they had been mixing cement and concrete. And they weren't, they were sawing and nailing together boards for the walls of the house. Now as this ragtag army of teenagers tried to get up the energy to shower, I asked what had to be the all-time insane question, are you tired? Hmm. Priests are a little clueless at times. Mm -hmm. One of the teenage boys looked at me and says, man, I'm more than tired, I'm dead but this is the best tired I have ever been. A teenage girl would tell her father, a teenage girl who would often go to Hawaii and other places for vacation, she would say, Dad, this is the best vacation I've ever had. Why the best? Because I believe this teenager had learned something that love always involves sacrifice. Because he had loved his neighbor and service that day and loving service, he had found purpose. He had found, I believe, God in so many ways. The scribe in today's gospel came to Jesus asking him a question, which is the first, the greatest of all the commandments? Now, consider this. At the time of Jesus, the first five books of the Old Testament, what was called the Torah, contained 614 commandments. 
And for each of these commandments, the Jewish scribes, the teachers had created realms, reams of interpretive explanations, attempting to apply them to everyday life in the first century. Needless to say, the, the sheer volume would be exhaustive to know, much less to understand and live out. So it's with all sincerity, I believe today, that the scribe comes to Jesus and says to him, which is the primary, the greatest of all these commandments? And at this time, Jesus gives him the straight answer. He doesn't answer his question with another question. He straight up gives him an answer. Love God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength, with all your soul. This is straight from the Shema, the Jewish prayer that we heard, the mantra that we heard in that first reading. But to this, Jesus adds, love your neighbor as yourself. This is short enough, this commandment, to fit even in a Twitter post today. I think it's still called Twitter. I've been wrestling nuts. I know it's X Factor or whatever, but I think it's Twitter still. <laughs> The scribe responds back <clears throat> with the same answer to Jesus. It's as if he's trying to remember its cadence, to remember the simplicity of this response. And Jesus says, you're not far from the kingdom. There's an old Persian saying, I sought my God, my God I could not see. I sought my soul. My soul eluded me. I sought my neighbor, and I found all three. These young missionaries that day, during their effort to complete a home in Mexico, I believe would come to understand this, this gospel passage today and the meaning and lesson in these readings. To love God is only possible when we love our neighbor. And the best way <coughs> to love our neighbor is in service to our neighbor. I've used this quote before, and I'm never tired of it, because I believe Schweitzer gets it right. I do not know what your future holds, but one thing I do know is the only ones among you who will truly be happy are those who suck and found how to serve. As we are gathered here in prayer today, with faith and confidence, let us take a few moments to place our prayers, our needs, before our Heavenly Father. For prophets and martyrs, for eloquent preachers and caring pastors, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For voters, that their choices reflect a loving heart and judicious wisdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the ill and disabled, and for those who care for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who gather here, for those who mourn, and for those who comfort, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also remember today those many intentions, the prayer intentions that are, are in our prayer jar, those you've asked that we would keep in our hearts and our prayers here at this altar. We raise all of these up to our Heavenly Father as we strive to live out His basic command to love one another. We ask our dear Lord to listen to these prayers and answer them as He has promised to answer all that we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness. Oh, let, I should put some wine in here first before I offer it up. Minor detail. In 42 years, I would know this. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be pleasing and acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of your name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy. And we pray this. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up, them to, up the to the Lord. Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with all the angels and saints, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we join in that hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven, hosts, heaven and earth and are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For at the time he was betrayed, and he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this bread of life, this chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And Father, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with those who strive to lead us, especially Francis, our Pope, and the bishops of our diocese. Remember also our brothers and sisters, all who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles, the martyrs, 
and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father, who who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Father, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the the kingdom, kingdom, the the power, and the glory glory are yours, yours, now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but instead look on the faith and love of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of our Lord be with you always. And with with your your spirit. spirit. We take a moment now to share that peace of Christ with those who are with us, our loved ones, our family members, our caregivers. So made a peace, and I've already said that, so peace be with you. We get very forgetful. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take take away away the the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take take away the the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Amen. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. 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 And let us pray. May the working of your power, Lord, increase in us so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Thank you, Sheila. And Mike, for assisting me, even though I would almost forget half the math, it seems, today. But thank you so much for that. Um, once again, we do appreciate all your correspondence. Um, headquarters told me to, to push the fundraising part of this, at, and I said, by the time they see this, it's going to be November. They'll probably have shot all their retirement savings by that time. But um, we do appreciate all your contributions to help to make sure this uh, TV mask continues. Uh, we have to get airtime. We have to pay all the people behind the cameras, uh, all those who do all the preparations for this. So thank you so much for your generosity in the past, and hopefully that generosity will continue. Once again, if you would like to correspond to Catholic TV Mass, it's 1 St. Vincent's Drive, San Rafael, California, 94903. Or you may also call at area code 415-244-0771. Uh, and Jan will get back to any messages that you leave on that. It, this comes to you from, for those of you who don't know, this is at Holy Cross Cemetery. It is the, the receiving chapels down at, uh, on the cemetery, which is good for today because um, I celebrate mom's birthday in heaven, I guess, uh, two days from now. And so I could just drive up the road and pay her a visit before I head home today. So uh, it, it's uh, convenient for, for her. So let us now bow our heads and pray for God's blessing in our lives. May your hearts be filled with God's peace. May your eyes be filled with the wonder and the beauty of the world that surrounds you. May your hands do deeds of justice. May your mind always seek God's truth. May the Lord bless you, keep you, watch over you, and care for you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hopefully next week I will have returned to the United States. And until then, go in peace to love and serve the Lord as we love and serve one another. Thanks be to God. God bless you this Sunday. Peace.